Good afternoon and welcome to GCSE Mathematics, one of your core subjects. In this presentation, I'm going to explain all you need to know about GCSE Mathematics and what it has to offer you. We will look at the different topics you will learn about and what you can expect from each topic as well as the subject on a whole. You will learn about what skills and qualities you will develop, careers you might be interested in that need GCSE Maths and exciting new prospects. As previously explained, mathematics is a core subject and is compulsory in Key Stage 4. All Key Stage 4 students have nine lessons a fortnight. Mathematics is broken into two tiers, a foundation tier and a higher tier. Foundation tier is provided by the exam board OCR and you can score as high as a grade 5. The higher tier is provided by the exam board at XR Pearson's and you can score as high as a grade 9. Mathematics is broken into five topics. You will see from the slide how much each topic makes up your final assessment. Mathematics breaks down these topics into many more subtopics. Number, algebra, ratio, geometry, probability and stats. Then gets broken into percentage, fractions, collecting like terms, proportion, volume, etc. In a lot of these subtopics, we try our best to reference it to real life maths. When we look at percentage, we look at price increase, sale prices, and go as far as simple and compound interest. When we look at ratio, we, when we look at ratio and proportion, we spend time learning about exchange rates, best buys, ingredients, to name a few. At the end of year 11, each child will write three end of year GCSE mathematic exams. As you can see, two are calculator and one is non-calculator. Each paper makes up 33 and a third percent. Mathematics is solely an exam subject. The major difference you will see between the two exam boards is that the foundation paper is 100 marks and the higher paper is 80 marks. On the slide, you can see skills and qualities you will develop from studying GCC mathematics. These are only a few. For example, you will discover how to critical think by yourself. You'll be able to solve multiple step problems. You'll be able to work with financial planning. Numeracy will be everyday occurrence. You'll have to reason your answers. You have to problem solve. You'll be able to analytical think when we get into stats. You will, need, you will work with attention to detail. Career opportunities with GCSE Mathematics. Again, here are just a few that I thought would catch your eye. As you can see, teachers, bankers, pharmacists, shop managers, doctors, construction managers, engineers, operation managers, etc. all have to get at least a grade 4 in their GCSE mathematics exams. And now finally the exciting new prospects. As you, as you can see we will be moving into the new build, building as, an, as the maths department. The classrooms will be a perfect learning environment to achieve. We are also hoping to restart robotics. This is a fantastic extramural club for keen mathematicians and students who like using their hands and program and programming brains. It also is a great taster for A-level maths, which has a module on mechanics. So I hope this presentation has helped you and I look forward to seeing you all in GCSE Mathematics next year. Thank you very much.